Hey guys, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Pair with video number 10767, I believe it is. Uh, this unit is uh, bought, purchased for a 70 Lincoln Mark III uh, as a replacement for AM radio. So there's a, I don't know if that's if this is going to be the right uh, fit for the dash, but uh, that's 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 on the customer. And uh, one thing you'll notice here is this is normally the balance slider. Well, on this model, uh, this is the Mark III, uh, the, the Ford Mark III unit. On this model, uh, there is an ejection. There's a solenoid that ejects a tape, and uh, a recent failure trend is that is that solenoid uh, being burned out. They're no longer available, so the only uh, the only solution is to devise a mechanical lever to replace that uh, to replace the uh, the eject solenoid. Otherwise, there's no way to pull the tape out. Did this thing hold the tape in really tight? Uh, and so now uh, in and you can test this. I, I recommend that you test this before installing the unit. And you can test it without the unit being powered on. Just uh, just pop a tape in. Make sure that it'll eject. Because uh, it does go through this little bracket. There's a chance that that bracket could... could that the uh, lever could hang up on the bracket. So uh, this is an FM conversion, uh, and the customer requested an FM stereo lamp be installed. Uh, I do charge extra for that, but it is installed. Um, I've got it set to AM at the moment, so let's turn it on, <coughs> make sure everything works. Truth of history and politics, religion. Okay, and while we're on talk radio, let's test our virtual that peer pressure that virtual balance and fader that they were, we're going to test the uh, virtual technology front rear fader them. and so they come Oops. into adulthood first we got to rotate our tone control old, to the center position bumping into the ordinary fader adjust okay so now the tone control is adjusting your your front rear speaker balance all the way front all the way rear front rear to deal with okay i want to center them let it time out Fader set. Fader set. Okay, now let's try the left right balance control. Of, of the better things in life. Balance adjust. Okay, turning so now the same okay. control is adjusting our left right down. balance all the way right. All the way left. Anger. All the way right. The wrong, okay, I'm going to center the wrong them. Movement, whether it be black line. Balance set. Balance is set. Okay, let's really see. Okay, let's go over to FM. They're I have all five of the uh, presets set to uh, FM stations in my area so we can get through them quickly. Way we go between AM and FM on this model to turn it off and then right back on within half a second. So off on. Okay, now we're on FM. Okay, these are all, all FM stations. Coming up in This view was worth a hike. No, this can't be right. No. Yes. Okay, let's try the 8-track. Got some Neil Sedaka here. <laughs> Change tracks a bunch of times. Okay, we're at the end of the song here, so we'll just skip the next track. Okay, we're probably coming up on an automatic track change. Okay, yep, we're coming up on an automatic track change, so we'll just, there it is. In the song. Jet the tape, and as you can see, there's just not much of that tape sticking out. I mean, some some guys probably could pull it out, but just press that. Much easier, and that takes care of that. So we have an AM FM radio instead of an AM radio. Now we got the FM stereo light, got the eight track working, got virtual balance and fade. Uh, the original fader, I never reuse the original fader because most of them go bad after a time. Um, I've I've just had one today that uh, did not send uh, power to the left 
left rear speaker, I believe it was. So um, I never reuse the fader. They're self-destructed by design. So um, on that happy note, I'm Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. And you just see what I can do to your old AM 8-Track. I can make it into an AM FM 8-Track. Probably make the 8-Track sound better than it did when it rolled off the assembly line because uh, because I put my own preamp in there to replace the original head preamp, which was designed to work with speakers that didn't have much audio range. So today's speakers are capable of much more audio range that requires that requires better response from the 8-track section and that's why my preamps in there instead of the original so uh, again this comes from Joe in Horizon City Texas Joe's been waiting on his unit for quite some time and he's hoping to install it into a 70 Lincoln Mark 3 which it's a Mark 3 unit so it should fit uh, so thanks so much for watching listening my website and phone number are in the description below please visit my website before calling me with a bunch of questions uh, you'll find that the website answers almost all your questions and you would call me uh, because you've got a little question about filling out the work order or stuff like that. So thanks so much for watching and listening. And thank you, Joe, for your business all the way from Texas. And we'll see you guys next time.